Okay, I'm not really warmed up, so let's see how this goes. So I want to use, I want to take his basic shape. I'll start with a, I'm going to use Disney pencil, my new favorite brush. I'm just going to start out with a circle, kind of like my base. That's going to be like a circle here. And let's see how his, what his face looks like. So he has a pretty harsh line there, something like this, it comes around. Something like that comes up. He has one horn here, and maybe like the other horn is sort of, sort of back here. And let's see. Let me make this a little thicker. So we're just gonna make a nice, nice round horn there. And the other one sort of comes back like this. Okay. And this I'm just gonna make a nice round. That, that way I can sort of do the mouth and nose and stuff like that. So the nose kind of looks like, kind of looks like a, like a big heart. So. We'll just do something like that. We'll make this a little bit. I want to try to stick to my my stylized sketch. So this goes up, and we've got to make that center line. So that can be the center line. And he has one eye. Let's see. Make the little spots for the horns. It looks okay. Head's a little funny looking. Make it, we'll give him a little, this little puff here. Can't really see his legs, so that's okay. All right. Oh, his ears. I gotta, I gotta make some room for his ears, huh? So we'll, we'll just kind of squeeze his ears in there. I don't think we need his other ear. Can't really see it. Okay. So the eye. That's the part that I'm most worried about. Where should his eye be? So his eye's kind of high. So let's just go ahead and. I usually do these for the eyes. I mean, I I make this line here, and that line sort of plays like the, the eye socket. So then I'll just do a nice dome and sort of give myself some room for the eyes. So it might be something like this. Do we want to add that in? You can't really see it on the drawing, but it it kind of looks it kind of looks uh it kind of looks like it fits in the drawing, but I don't know. He's kind of all all the front part of the snout. So I could either, I, I might have to just draw that, but you know what, I'll do a, I'll do a different one. Let me see if I can work out this eye. So if I want to do it nice and round, and I'll keep it round and simple for now. So then I can just, I actually think that looks okay. So let me just duplicate. And that way I can, not think too much about making these changes because I already have another copy. So that's something that I always do. I always just duplicate it. That way I don't have to really worry about it. Okay, let me see if there's another way 
and I can sort of fix this. It might just be that I have everything a little bit too pushed together. It might have been my issue. So let's see how this works. So this only goes up quite high. That's actually not, not bad. So I think it might have just been... Let me try to erase a little bit here. And I'll just use my G brush to erase. This actually has him looking a little angry, so I want to make sure that I maintain I don't know why I'm obsessed with making this other cheek. I just feel like I need to make this other cheek. But I actually really like that. I think that kind of kind of works. Ooh, I like that. I might be able to make this a little rounder, I think. So we'll make this little I think that looks pretty good legs so I guess I don't have to really draw them I'll just I'll just leave them out of it but it'd be nice if I had if I had the legs to reference no, I think I like where his I think I like where his mouth kind of opens up So we can sort of we can sort of fix this so it doesn't eat into his ear. Maybe we'll maybe we'll just give him a new ear. 
and give the ear the actual space that it deserves. But as you can see, I'm always making changing changes and always seeing what I can do better. Because there's always a lot that I can that I can do better. And I just I try not to settle until it looks until it looks good. I think it would be a little bit more straight out if we were seeing the the other ear. I think that looks a little more a little more natural. But I think it's I think that's cute than cuter than these. So I'll just get rid of those. I'll make a layer right above. And I'll lower this and maybe I'll use um, I do want to do a sketch but uh, do I want to use Disney ink I'll do a quick pass with Disney ink just to show it off because I love it make it a little thinner okay It always feels like I'm not going to get it, but I just, I just, I know that I'll just keep going until I get something that I like. Like, sometimes there's just no option for it not to work out. That's kind of how I, that's kind of how I think about it. As you can see, I'm doing this line work, and I really just... And making it really kind of straight. I'm straightening everything. I'm straightening everything out, and I'm just trying to make the line work pretty. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of loose kind of sketch work, and I'm just sort of. Simplifying everything because that's what gives it that nice, like, slick look. Okay, so now let me just do like this little section and sort of pretend like it's a an eyebrow a little bit. Oh, 
That looks nice. So now we'll just give him some big horns. We'll just try to do it in one fell swoop. And not, not think too much about it, not get too crazy with it. I feel like this can go a little bit higher. Just to sort of match up with the other one. Do I want to add that in? Probably doesn't make too much sense, but it actually doesn't look too bad, to be honest with you. It looks like it fits. All right, so now for the eyes, I'll just do a layer underneath because I always mess up the eyes. And you know what? I'll just use my happy circle. Oh, that was actually almost a perfect placement. I'll do this one so I can move it around. And now I'm going to squint so I can sort of see might have to f transform it, make it a little thinner. Let me take this off of magnetics. So I can move this around a little more freely. Okay, let's see how this looks. If I get rid of... Oh, it looks good. The only other thing that I think I might be, I might have to give this eye a little more room here. So I'm just gonna take this and open it up a little bit more, just to give it a little more room. And I might try to, maybe the eye actually comes out a little bit. Oops, wrong brush. I'll go back to my Disney pencil. Oh, actually, I wanted to go to Disney ink. And I will erase this too, just so they kind of match up. some little decorations up here. And now I'm just experimenting. So if we want I think I just like just the black. I think that looks good. Okay, so now I'll bring the sketch back up. So we have the sketch, and we have this, and maybe we can, well, maybe we'll add some hues to it. I'll use Disney brush. And I'll make a new, is this a new layer? I'll make a new layer, I'll, I'll lower the opacity. And let's see, maybe the... So I'll just sort of shade in stuff back here, maybe the eye sockets.
just to sort of add a little bit of, just to add a little something. And there is a lot of uh, movement in these, in these horns. So let's try just like, just giving them a little something. drawing keep sculpting i'll see you guys in the next video there we go Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you can come on and chat to me when I'm doing my live videos. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Drug Free Dave, and Drug Free Dave 3D for all my new 3D work. I have about 11 Procreate digital art Skillshare classes and I have one Nomad Sculpt 3D class. I'm really excited about Skillshare. I have a Facebook group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance, so maybe I'll see you on Facebook. As always, keep drawing. And I will catch you all in the next video.